Well, you wouldn't know it, but somewhere on a logging road close to Kananaskis, drivers are speeding, sliding, and sometimes crashing. My ride with the rush that is rally racing. seen cars go fast on gravel roads and, and snow roads sideways. They've seen it somewhere in their life. Uh, but what they don't realize is it's happening in their backyard. Our race in Alberta is actually picking up a lot of strength. We've, uh, this event only four years ago had six cars started and we're starting 18. So it's, it's a growing sport. It's a lot of fun. It's real. They, there's no guardrails. There's no... Uh, the only thing to stop you is uh, a tree. <laughs> it's going to be quite tricky driving for this. I mean, it's a beautiful clear day, but uh, there's snow on top of ice on powder pace, which uh, makes for just about zero traction. The sunny side of the hills are gravel, and then you'll come up, and then there'll be sheet glare ice on the other side, and a number of cars have already come off and hit a tree. So it's pretty terrifying. I love being, you know, in Canada, but. Uh, I hate going out like this. <laughs> you can go as fast as you want, you can do whatever you want, and uh, it allows you to get that general rush that some people do on the street. It allows us to go out in the forest and, and, and get that uh, out of our system. The speed that you generate going through some of those, uh, some of those bends and the, the crests and the exposure, the, the, the cliff on one side of is uh, absolutely breathtaking. Breaking out in the Rocky Mountains with the foothills like this is just beautiful. Uh, the roads are awesome. Powder Face Trail has got to be one of the best rally roads in the world, not just in Canada. We're really lucky to have a road this this good to run out here. I enjoy it. It's just uh, great fun to be able to uh, control, manage to control the car under all kinds of varying conditions. If you think of it in terms of like surfing, the best place to go surfing, this, this road is like the best place to go rallying, basically. Watching it is, uh, is spectacular. It's twice as fun being in the car. Driving west of Pascapu into K Country, and you enter a driver's paradise. On my ride last time, what it's like to be a rally driver this week, how to be a rally driver. We've got competitors in this event from BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan. It's open to anybody who wants to run it. You gotta be a little bit crazy, right? When you race on the track, it's doing, you know, eight corners a hundred times. When you race in the rally stages, it's a thousand corners, you take them each once. You gotta have good teamwork with your co-driver. Co-driver reads the notes that you made the day before, so you have to trust those notes, trust that he's giving them to you at the right time. And in fact, he has more control over the car than I do. That aspect of it really makes rally interesting too, because it's, it's really a team sport. I mean, if we're not communicating effectively, then uh, there's no way that we can go out there and put down a good time. But when she's telling me what's coming up, I'm not even really hearing the road so much as visualizing what's coming up and uh, driving accordingly. I sort of have to accept the fact that you're never going to drive it straight. It does slide around a lot. That's uh, part, of the, part of the art is to <laughs> make it slide the way you want it to slide, not somewhere else. Looks a little bit like controlled chaos. It is. You know, when, it, when everything goes right, it, uh, you know, when it comes together, it's a beautiful thing. When it doesn't, it's uh, a little bit expensive. <laughs> <laughs> just walking on the line of understanding. I mean, on gravel, it's one thing, but on ice, you just, you, you, you don't know what's going to happen next. So you really have to be quick and, and rely on your car and confident and just put the throttle down and keep on going. When you see this huge crest coming up, be able to have the guts to hold your foot down, knowing that you're going to get air over that. And you're already doing way faster than you should and being able to just hold that, it's just such a great rush. It's humbling when you get out there and uh, you realize what, what you can do and what the car can do and try to find a uh, happy medium between the two. It's really exhilarating and at times very scary, but uh, nothing keeps you focused like it. I think I'll be doing it for, for a long time, so for nothing else for the long run.